Little bites can cause a lot of damage. The problem is that not only is it not a painful bite, but the lesion starts out very small, almost like an ant bite. And 95 to 98% of the time, it just goes away. But in a small percentage, they can develop very large lesions. And, and the largest I've seen is about that big. Suzette Clark from Killeen has a very strange story to tell. She was bitten while she was asleep in bed with her husband. She didn't notice the spider creeping up beside her. I'd been working out in the flower bed, so I thought maybe I got into a rash or, you know, into something. But the next morning, I had a headache. I was deathly sick. There was a constant burning pain, so I went to a local hospital. And they told me it was nothing to worry about. They looked at it, go home, you're okay. I let it go almost the two weeks before I went to a different hospital. And they, as soon as I walked in the door, they said it was probably a brown recluse. It was all black by then and spreading. So within, what, 24 hours, they did surgery on it. Suzette was bitten again several weeks later, and then again a few weeks after that. When it kept repeating, it was like, what have I done? <laughs> Why is it only me, not my son, not my husband? Thank God it wasn't my son. And each time I was bit, it was the same burning sensation, the same being sick. By the end, I knew what to look for. Brown recluse bites can eat away at the flesh. If the wound goes untreated, it can be very serious and require surgery. The venom has a, an enzyme in it that actually just liquefies the tissue, basically, and just eats it away. So you start out with a small blister, and then that turns black, and then that blister sinks below the level of skin, so you get a little crater, actually, in your skin, and then that can just progressively enlarge, and then that all just sloughs off and leaves a deep crater all the way down into the muscle, so the muscle belly itself is exposed. And then that's a very slow healing process and requires plastic surgery and skin grafting to actually close the wound up. Suzette was so worried about being bitten again that her husband and his friends decided to try and find the spiders. Since brown recluses are nocturnal creatures, they had to search during the night. They got flashlights and started looking in dark corners, secluded places. Any place that was dark or damp is where they started looking at. When they looked behind the headboard, they were amazed by what they found. They discovered not just one, but a whole bunch of brown recluse spiders. They caught them and put them in a container. I walked in and told doctor, could this be what's bite me? He thought I was nuts. He goes, I can't believe you brought them in here. <laughs> and then they called an animal research center and had them check it out, and they verified that it was a brown recluse. I was shocked at how much damage a spider bite could do to you. This was the first bite. There was three here and then those two. The second time, it was these three, and the third time, it was those two. And now I have to...